it's the end of the day and you want your students to leave your classroom feeling joyful, having some vocabulary to talk to their guardians and parents about how great their day was, how awesome their teacher is. It can be tricky though, because if you're like me, sometimes I cut that time a little too short and it's like, get out, here's your stuff. Whose backpack is this? Take this water bottle, get out, go, wait a minute, where's Johnny? You know, it just, ha. Huh. You don't want them leaving in chaos. You want them leaving in joy. So today, you're gonna get a few tips and tricks on how to set up that end of the day routine to make it just smooth as butter. Are you ready? Here we go. Hey, my name is Angie. Let's jump right into the end of day routines. The first thing that you need to do is you need to give yourself enough time, right? And I know some days that is like impossible, but in my classroom experiences, if I had 15 to 20 minutes, I know that seems like a lot, but we're gonna fill it up with some pretty amazing things that it's going to bring some closure to your day, some joy, some community to your day. I think you're gonna love it. So the first step is, is how do you get them, you know, going? So I always had, in, when I taught first grade, we always had an activity that was usually a little bit more active at the end of the day. We had a themed activity, a maker activity, an art activity, something a little more active. When I taught kindergarten, we had our free choice time. So there was a lot of activity going on. So each one of those, I would turn on some music. When they heard that music, they knew, oh, it is time to clean up. So they could get that cleaning up done quickly. Then I would turn on another song. And this song was the theme from Star Wars. Dun, 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 dun. And they knew that that meant we need to tidy up this classroom. And by tidying up, I mean no scraps on the floor, no, no little pieces of paper on the uh, tables. All the books need to look nice. Everybody just kind of pitched in and did a good job. I was especially very picky about the floor because what I would do is I would talk to my students. When our custodians come in, the people that clean our room, I do not want them coming into a room that looked looks like the scrap box barfed all over and they would laugh. <laughs> but it's true. They the people who clean the room, they should be able to come in and and tidy up the vacuum and wipe down surfaces and do all the things, but they don't need to be picking up big pieces of yucky is what I would call it. Sure little pieces of grass and rocks and everything, that's fine. But if if we are going to leave our classroom in a good way for those custodians, it needs to be as tidy as we can. So I would turn on that music and I would have them and they would like mm, go around and I would say, you need to pick up at least 10 pieces of yucky off the floor. And these little kindergartners and first graders they, when they have a mission, they're onto it. So they would go around dun, 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 and they would buzz around, throw it in the garbage, right? And they would just have the best time. And then after the song was done, they knew they had to be flying into their seat and ready because that's when the Death Star was coming. And the Death Star is looking for any little pieces of yucky that got left behind because they had a chance to win 10 points for our reward. So if I found one piece of yucky, that meant now we're down to nine. If I found another piece of yucky, now we're down to eight, seven, six, five. Okay, rarely, rarely did I find little pieces of yucky everywhere. So they're practicing being good citizens to the people around them. They're pitching in together. They're getting a reward. Everybody's happy, right? So then after we did that, I turned on another song. This song is the Pink Panther song. And when they hear that, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, I would start this, literally. <laughs> and, I, and they knew that that meant they needed to be super quiet and super ready because I was gonna come around and tap them on the shoulder or tap them on the head very lightly to dismiss them, to stack their chairs, get their mail, get their coats and come back and put everything at their seat. So this is very good because I would tap 
this person and this person and this person. And I would kind of wait for them to get their chairs stacked, get their mail, get their coat and come back. And so I would gradually release the students, right? Not just, okay, everybody do it. Because <laughs> if you've ever seen 20 kindergartners trying to stack chairs at the same time, someone is going to get hurt and it's probably you, right? So, uh, and 20 people at the mailbox at a time and 20 people in the coat closet at a time or in the hallway at a time. No. So just a gradual release. So you have control over who is going and how long it's going to take them. So some, you know, some of your little darlings are going to take a little bit longer time. It is just who they are. So why not get them going first, right? And some of your little darlings should not be with another little darling. Don't, don't tap them at the same time. Tap one, wait a while till they're back out. Tap the other one, right? You have control. And at the same time, you're like, da -da, da -da. they don't know what you're doing. They don't know that you have like the strategic plan to eliminate the chaos. They just think you're funny. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. And they're like this. Oh, please pick me. Please pick me. Everybody's going to get picked, but they're just like, oh, it's so fun. Okay. So the Pink Panther song, everything is stacked. People have their stuff at their seat. Then they come over to the carpet area where we have the, our morning meeting. There, the happy helper knows what to do because my happy helper is like my little, uh, little co-teacher, right? And if you haven't, seen the video on the happy helper um, i will put the link in the description down below and my happy helper is then in charge of a few songs songs that have action so that if i need to help anybody or i need to clean up my area i need to clean up my area i do even if it's two minutes of cleaning i need it all right and and i have that gift when i manage my class this way so my happy helpers over there doing uh, If You're Happy and You Know It, the Lori Berkner Goldfish song, having actions to all these things, pretty much the same, same songs day after day after day. We switch them up as the year goes by. If they start getting kind of antsy and bored with them, throw another song in there, right? Throw a different song in there. And once everybody's over on the carpet, it's our perfect time to do a check-in. How was the day? And I, you know, a thumbs up, a middle thumb, a thumbs down. And if they had a thumbs up, middle th thumb, that's great. And, but being really aware of the thumbs down and um, those kids that have a thumbs down day after day after day, keeping that in your teacher brain, right? And then doing a turning and talk. What was, what was so great about your day? Or why was it just an ordinary day? Or why was it a bad day? listening, having a partner to listen to. And then we always would say, it's okay to have a bad day or it's okay to have something bad happen the day. And you would say, downturn thumb, that's okay. Tell us what you've learned today. So we always tried to take it from not, you're not a victim, right? Something bad happened today, but what did you learn? There is always something in a downturn thumb that you have learned. And so we go through that and so we can talk about it. And we talk about the things that we did that day so that I was, and when you get in the car, when you get, get home, when you get to wherever you're going, make sure somebody's going to ask you, how was your day? Or if they don't say, how was your day? You say, hey, do you want to know how my day was? Okay. You advocate for yourself. Hey, do you know how my day was? And you tell them something that you did today. And don't forget to tell them that your teacher is amazing. <laughs> and I would say that. And they would laugh. I'm like, that's true. I'm amazing. And they're like, we know. Sometimes you just got to toot your own horn, right? After a little check-in, if we still had time, I would read a short little book. Or if I was totally exhausted, I would do a book on CD, which I had a big collection of. Um, and my happy helper would hold the book and turn the pages. And I would just kind of sit there <laughs> because I, I'm spent. I'm spent. Or sometimes I had enough energy to hold the book, but let the happy helper hold the book, right? And just let the book on tape do its thing. Then I would dismiss the kids. 
they would go get their stuff, get their get their hats and gloves and mittens on or whatever clothes. Then I would have them get into certain lines. A bus line, a walker line, a pickup line, an after school line, a this line, a that line, okay? All the lines so that I could kind of make a mental note. Okay, yes. Um, Jesse was, is going to the after school program. Jesse has a tendency to find a way to not get to the after school program but I see that he is in that line and we are going and there he goes. So there's, you know, the office calls, um, Marty didn't get on the bus. Well, Marty was on in the line. Marty was with me. I took Marty to the bus line, you know, so that you know that you had them last. You knew, you knew where they are, okay? So anyway, different lines really do help. And then we would sing our goodbye song. Hi ho, hi ho, it's home from school we go. We've had some fun, but now we're done. Hi ho, hi ho. And they would walk out the door singing and having the best time. So much better than chaos. All right, tell me which tip you liked best down below and let me know if you do anything else at the end of the day so that other teachers can hear what you do as well. Remember, teachers need teachers more than ever. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up and make sure if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. My name is Angie and I was in education for 25 years and I want you to remember the most important thing and that is the creator of the universe loves you. He really does. And I think you're pretty amazing too. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.